Okay, so for chapter four, we're looking at closed systems. 4.1 was just the boundary work, just focusing on the boundary work um, done by or on a system um, to, to, to move the boundary, to expand or compress. Okay, but let's, let's look at more than that. Let's look at more than just the boundary work. Let's look at all the work, all the heat, all the energy. Let's look at all the energy. Let's look at like an energy balance for a closed system. It says kind of all the energy going in minus all the energy going out equals change in energy. I'm putting dots. This is the power equation, but these could be just total energies, capital E. This could be lowercase energy specific. Uh, energies. So on the left hand side, we're going to have Q and W. We're not going to have any energy from an inlet or outlet because it's a closed system. All right. So what are we looking at for the right hand side? We're looking for heat that's crossing the boundary. We're looking for work that's crossing the boundary, like shaft work, like electrical work, like springs. We're, we're also looking for boundary work. So this work could be you know, the, the work that we, we're used to, uh, plus and the boundary work, all right? Uh, and then the right-hand side is delta U, delta P, E, delta K, E. Delta U, delta P, E, delta K, E. Generally, I mean, I'm not going to say these are always zero, but generally for closed systems, uh, you know, our fluid is not going, you know, five meters per second, right? It's, it's in a tank. It's in a piston cylinder. There's usually not a, much of a change in height. Uh, so generally, the right-hand side is delta U. But technically, it could be change in internal energy and potential and kinetic energy. All right? Uh, so anyway, now boundary work is just a part of our uh, equation now, our energy balance equation. Now, let's go one step further. What if it is a closed system going through a cycle, undergoing a cycle? It starts at state one, right? It starts at this U, this kinetic energy, this potential energy. It goes, maybe it goes this way, maybe it comes back a different route. If it comes back to state one, then that means it comes back to the same properties that it was at. And so the right hand side of our equation right here is zero for a system undergoing a cycle, then whatever energies it started with and ending with, it ends, or whatever energies it started with, it ends with those same energies. So the right hand side of our equation is zero. So any Q plus W equals zero or the Q in, so let's kind of bring this W to the other side of our equation, like subtract it over here. The Q in, let's do this one. The sum of all Q ins and the minus of all Q outs equals the sum of all work outs and the minus of all work ins. Okay, so, so let's think about that. All of the heat in minus all the heat out equals all the work out minus the work in. So we can, uh, if it's a cycle, if it's closed, then all the heats have to equal all the works, right? All the heats have to equal all the works, but one's going in, one's coming out, okay? Okay.